more kind of questions on more just music. Like, what are your thoughts on the music industry? Um, as far as what? Just like, what, what do you think about it? Do you think the music industry is a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, do you think like it's just, do you think, you know, like these big record labels, do you think they're they're just doing... Or just let's scratch that. Do you think like musicians will just do anything to make money, or is it like what you're talking about? It's, just, it's the passion. I'll make music even if you know I make like little to nothing off this thing just to because it's what I like doing. Like, what do you think about like the whole industry of music as a whole? Yeah, I think uh, you know I think that uh, you know good musicians will make music whether they're making a million dollars doing it or if they're <laughs> not making any money doing it. Uh, and it really should be about your passion. Uh, the music industry itself is is kind of in a weird position because previously, you know, a decade ago or, or actually longer than that, um, you know, record sales were a prominent way that people got their music. Um, <laughs> they'd go to the store and they'd buy a record or a CD or a tape. Um, nowadays, it's totally different. You know, the internet gives us the access to music right at a snap of a finger. So the record sales and, and, and those things are, are down. Those numbers are way down. So the artists aren't making as much money on, on sales of their songs. The labels aren't making as much money on the sales of those songs. So it makes for an interesting situation where the industry has to adapt. Uh, and I think that the music industry is, is going through, you know, a weird phase where it's trying to adapt to the, you know, the new things of the generation like Spotify or, or Pandora, mm -hmm. um, YouTube and all those things where you can just go online immediately and hear that song that you want to hear. Okay. So I think it's just a matter of, of the people that want to stick around and, and, and be creative and, and survive in the music industry. Those will be the people that are still here. But to answer the, the question like you said earlier, <laughs> people are going to make music if they're passionate about it, whether they're making money or whether they're not. They're doing it because they love it. Okay. Um, do you think that, like, social media sites like Facebook and Twitter have kind of, like, changed how we view music and musicians now? Um, yeah, I think they have, and I think that they are, are helpful, um, Ooh. you know, to, to, the, to the musicians, because they're a way that you can interact with your fan base without having to, you know, be right in front of them and talking to them. So, like, if, if a, you know, a person's following their favorite band on Twitter or on Facebook, they can... You know, you can either tweet to the band and say, hey, you know, good show yesterday. The band can tweet back and say, hey, thanks. You know, and, you know, 20 years ago, you couldn't do that. 20 years ago, you were lucky enough to, you know, have your favorite band sign your, your CD if you, if you actually were able to see them after the show. But a lot of times, you know, you couldn't get that opportunity because they were back on their tour bus leaving, right. you know? So it is kind of cool. I think it, it benefits uh, the artist. I like the and answer. It benefits the fans, too. It makes them feel closer to the musicians than they really like. That was an interesting answer. I like that one a lot. Okay, but, um... Like, oh, cool. Thanks. What do you think about, like, Twitter? Like, let's say, like, you put on a show and someone goes on Twitter and, like, I saw the Fold show. Oh, my God, it was awful. Like, if you're... Uh, have you ever seen, like, Jimmy Kimmel's, like, celebrity mean tweets where it's, like, people tweet nasty things to celebrities and they read them? Do you think like that can have like a negative effect on music as well when they see like people are like seriously I put on a show and you said I am terrible? Um, yeah, I don't think it's really that negative. Um, what's really funny about the internet is everyone has an opinion, and when you're really face to face with somebody, ninety percent of the things that they'll just blurt out and say on the internet they would never say to your face. Right. So it's kind of funny, and people can sometimes be real jerks online, because they're like, well, I can say whatever I want. No one's going to confront me about it. I'm just kind of throwing it out there in the cyberspace. Um, so, yeah, for musicians and fans, like, they can say whatever the heck they want. It doesn't matter. But I don't think it really has that much negative impact on the industry itself, you know, because you could say that to one of your friends, like, oh, hey, what bad show and they really stunk. Well, okay, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> It'll travel to a further audience when it's on the internet, but still, you know, we would just be taking your word for it. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, Tosh.0, that guy tweets some hilarious, weird, <laughs> crazy stuff, but is it changing the way that, you know, if Tosh.0 said, hey, the world's going to end tomorrow, would you believe? 
No, you should be like, oh, this goofball just posted something crazy on his Twitter. Ha ha. Right. Um, that's my viewpoint. I don't know. Okay, that's interesting. Um, do you think like um that like the social media like Twitter? Do you think it takes like privacy away from like musicians? Like, let's say you like when you guys let's say you wanted to keep moving past the secret, like you didn't need the Kickstarter, and uh, someone heard you guys like were doing it and went on Twitter and like, oh my God, the Fold's making a new album. Do you think like those social media kind of take things away from people because you can't really keep secrets? If one person finds out, they can throw it online and everyone can hear it and see it. Um. Not really. I mean, it's all hearsay anyway. I mean, they, they, r- rumors can start any which way. They can start online on Twitter, or they can start, you know, when someone just makes something up and they tell a hundred of their friends. Um, if, that's all just based on, on the person that's posting, or, you know, like in our situation, if we didn't want anyone to know about the Kickstarter, we just wouldn't have talked about it. You know, or that would be stupid anyway, because the point of the Kickstarter right. is to tell everybody. But, you know, if we wanted to sort of uh, a secret announcement, we will just wouldn't say anything about it. And if someone did find out and post something online, I mean, it's, it's basically like any other rumor that you hear, you know? Well, I don't know if that's true or not. You know? So, I guess it's just based on the, on the eye of the beholder. However serious the person that's online reading those tweets takes them is how far they really go. But I don't think they, they really affect us at all. Okay. Yeah. Um, I got another thing. It's like kind of like I'm just like the music lifestyle. Do you think it makes certain celebrities like um, Miley Cyrus, you know, Justin Bieber? Think like the way like music is now, like that so-called rock star lifestyle. Do you think that's why they act kind of you know such like what the heck brats or something? I guess the way I put it. I didn't. My phone cut out. I didn't hear the last half of what you said. Oh, so like certain celebrities, like you know Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber. Do you think like? Do you think, like, music, like, the industry and, like, this, like, the rock star lifestyle we're talking about, do you think, like, that, like, they think it's an excuse, like, I'm famous, like, I can act, like, you know, however I want, like, do you think that's why they act kind of, you know, rude and stuff, or? Um, yeah, I do. Um, I think that, uh, they will utilize that spotlight, you know, and, you know, Yes. You know, like, for him to have the nerve to just think he can walk up and, and do something like that. But, uh, some, some celebrities think that they're entitled to whatever they want to do. Like, hey, uh, this is who I am. I can do whatever I want. I kind of think that's stupid. But your example a second ago, Miley Cyrus, I think the recent thing that happened when she was, you know, doing all those nasty dance moves with uh, that dude that was a huge controversy, I I think she purposely planned that. I mean, I think she utilized that um, to to boost her staff. You know, sometimes, you know, by creating a controversy, you can reinvent yourself. And I think she was like, well, hey, I'm going to make this huge ordeal, and then all of a sudden I'm going to be relevant again. That's exactly what happened. and And it worked. You know, everybody was talking about it, and people are still talking about it. That's what she said. She put on Twitter, I'm all people talk about now, you know? it's. I think you're right there. Yeah. So, I mean, as, as, as bad as it was, you know, I heard people say, like, oh, my gosh, that's appalling. I can't believe she did that. If you're talking about selling another million albums or something, well, she probably did just because of that. So, if that was her goal, well, she succeeded, even though she did kind of look a little trashy in the, in the meantime. Okay, um, do you... Th- uh, I can't think of a way to phrase that one, but um, do you think like if a celebrity does stuff like that, but still, do you think like a kid should li- like let's say a kid likes the music, but they don't know like that Miley Cyrus did that? Do you think they should still be allowed to listen to her music, or like no, she freak danced and that's just wrong, and no one's even listen to her music anymore? Well, you know that's uh, that's kind of the discrepancy of of uh, you know the kid's parents. Um, you know they should be the ones dictating whether or not their kids listen to that kind of music. Um, I do think that, you know, her behavior is definitely not something to role model after, at at least in that situation. So I think that's where a lot of people were so upset by it. They said, well, my kid's been watching Hannah Montana for their whole childhood, and now this? Oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. You know, and and that's the parents. They need to say, hey, you you shouldn't be listening to this. So, um, 
I guess I guess it depends on the scenario. I mean, I don't really know very much of Miley Cyrus' music. Right. I don't know if it's really dirty and nasty. If it is, then I think, yeah, maybe your kids should be listening to it. But, 